What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're out at RBN in beautiful San Diego, California. And of course we got Paris here with us and Mike and uh, we're gonna have a fun time out there, right? Absolutely. <laughs> what's, uh, what's the format today? I think we'll do dots since we only have three and, uh, mm -hmm. and last time I think Paris beat up on us. So yeah, he did. Uh, sure get a little redemption <laughs> back and uh, you know, try and win some of that money back. Awesome. Actually, you still owe me five bucks. I do. I have it for you, by the way, in my bag, so I'll get that to you. But you might win it back, so you never know. True. So. Play for it. <laughs> Play for it. Perfect. All right, so we're going to be playing the Chrome Soft again today. Uh, we played it uh, uh, at the last video with the uh, Three Club Challenge, and it was awesome. We played another 18 holes with that same ball. Actually, I'm going to play another 18 holes with uh, that ball again, and uh, it seemed like it didn't, it didn't take down any damage, and um, still felt really great around the greens, uh, really long off the tee. And overall, just an, a great feeling. So um, we're going to play another 18 with them. And so far, I love the golf ball. I don't know what you thought of it, but yeah, I, I thought it was great. I didn't notice any any big differences versus the TV5, which is actually a good thing because I love that ball too. So um, we're going to play another 18 with it today and see how it goes. We'll let you know it then. Um, also, if you guys are subscribed to the channel, we appreciate it. If you're not, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also, make sure you guys turn that little bell on next to the subscribe button. Um, it just lets you know when the videos come out. So YouTube's algorithm doesn't show our videos to everyone that's subscribed. It's all based on metrics and how well it's doing. So if you turn that bell on, you guys will see our videos and uh, we very much appreciate that. All right. <laughs> this first hole is a par four, 347 yards. And uh, there's a little wash down there that you have to clear. You can kind of see the wash down there a little bit running through and it's, uh, it's really not in play for us with the driver, but if you don't hit one very good, it can definitely go in there. But anyway, it's a pretty straight ahead hole. What do you got, P? All right, I have 108, it's a little uphill. I'm gonna play it um, like 115, 120, especially because it's cold right now, so. All right. Oh, she swooped it around that tree real good. Oh, should be on and pretty close. Good shot. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I like that little baby draw. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right, big cat, what do you got? Got 100 yards left. Just missed the fairway here on the rough. I'm gonna just club up though. I'm gonna hit a approach wedge and uh, just aim left side of the screen. I don't want anything to do with these trees right here. Yeah, I think that's the play. Oh, he carved it right around all those trees. Really good. Coach right down the middle of the fairway, per huge. Play that nice baby draw down here. And uh, position A. So I got 84 yards, a little bit uphill, a tiny bit into the wind. So I'm gonna play about 90 and uh, middle of the green should be fine. Started right at the flag and it's staying there. This looks great. Ooh, might be in the hole. <laughs> that did look pretty good. He might have jarred it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see how close it is. We are playing dots, so uh, uh, a little you know. Sticky on the first hole is not uh, yeah. not good for you guys. All right, we got Paris right here. Oh no, on the right side. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we thought Mike was in the hole because we didn't see the third ball, but uh, uh, there's one in the back of the green. I think that's me back there, and this uh, is probably. Look at what happened. That's where I landed. Oh my God. I landed in the cup. Oh wow. Yeah, you sure did, dude. Oh, you and you hit the... You got some good tour sauce off of that. Wow. You spun back about 20 feet there, 25 feet. Alright guys, once again we're playing the dog game and Mike is going to run you through the point system. Alright, so you can get a dot for a number of different things. Uh, if you hit one within the stick, it's called the sticky, you get a point. If you make a putt outside the stick, it's called a pulley. 
Um, in par fives, closest two and three will be uh, a gorilla, and then uh, a birdie is a, is a dot, uh, an eagle is an extra dot, uh, a sandy uh, up and down out of a bunker for a par is going to be a dot, and then also a bin Laden. So if you go from the fairway bunker to the greenside bunker and get up and down make a par, it's another dot. So it's like a double dot with a sandy and then a bin Laden. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. What's each one worth today? Uh, we can do a dollar a dollar, dot. Dollar a dot? Yeah. Fair so, enough. Yeah. And I almost just dunked one from right there. That would have been a little three dotter. Three dotter. That would have been nice. <laughs> that would have been nice. But instead you get zero. Yeah, now I got zero. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this hole is uh, part three, 205 yards, playing a little bit downhill and a tiny bit downwind. And you guys can see where the pin is back there, kind of right back. Uh, you can miss obviously left short here and you'll be on the green, but uh, anything long and to the right is a lot of trouble. Obviously there's a bunker back there and it's just a tough up and down because everything is sloping away from you. So uh, a little bit short to the left is, uh, is a good spot. Started at the flag with a big draw. This looks like it's gonna miss the green to the left. Yeah, short left, he's over there near the car path. He started up the right side and it's fading back. Looks like it's just right in front of the green. Uh, should be an easy up and down. All right, so Mike was just uh, over here to the left of the green a little bit. He's going a little bit uphill. He's probably about three, four feet below the surface of the green. And uh, I was over here just a little bit short. Yeah, so Paris is just over here on the green side bunker and uh, looks like she has a good line there, but she short-sided herself a little bit here. but. Okay, so that's going to be about 15 feet short of the hole. Really good shot out of there. Oh, I just got caught up in the rough a little bit. But still, she was on a great line, so it was about 15, 20 feet also. So Marco's got like a 60 footer. He says he's going with the 9 iron, a little bump and run. Alright, he's got about 10 feet left. Par five, 497 yards, and it uh, goes a little bit to the right. You guys can kind of see up there, it just turns, and then uh, it's definitely reachable in two with a good drive. But yeah, left center of the fairway is perfect and kind of kicks over to the right. You can see that big bank, so just gotta avoid all the trees and the hazard on the right. So Paris pulled uh, her drive over here to the left. She's in a little bit of tree trouble, but looks like she's got a little opening. What are you gonna hit right here? I'm just gonna hit five iron. Um, there's a tree up there. Um, with my trajectory, it should just go beneath those branches. Okay. Oh, she did it. Oh, <laughs> and she just hit the tree. <laughs> I hit it too good. <laughs> she hit it too good with a five iron. Uh, all right. Here's Marco's lie. It looks terrible. Oh my gosh. And uh, I don't think I've ever seen a ball sit down on this course so much. And he's right behind the tree. Got a nine iron. I just need to get it back in the fairway and give myself a chance to get on the green in three. So, can't get too frisky from here. Plus, I got a tree in front of me. So, I'm gonna just chip out. All right, three shot hole right here. Another great drive down here, middle of the fairway. Um, what do you got left, bud? I got 245, little downhill side hill lie. Uh, I'm just gonna hit a bunt three wood with a little bit of swoop and uh, hopefully miss a little bit right because the bunker uh, green side, it looks like it's uh, it's a tough one. So gotta miss right. You can see the pin, it's pretty much right center on the front and then you got the green side bunker. The one to the right over there is probably about 30 yards short of the green. Really tough one to get up and out of. But uh, there's hazard over there to the right so he's gotta make sure he swoops this. Started up the right and it's drawn back very nicely. Looks like it's headed left side of the green. And just looks like it was, is it a tiny bit shorter or is it on? It's just on the fringe. Good shot. All right, got 191 left and uh, I'm gonna go with the five iron. Everything's a little bit damp like Mike was saying earlier and uh, balls, just, it's not traveling quite as far. So five iron, nice little baby fade in there and so I can get on the green. I right, hit it pretty good. Just pushed it to the left a tiny bit. And he's in that nasty, oh, he's just in front of the bunker, okay. 
Paris's five iron did not pay off. <laughs> <laughs> it actually came out a lot better from that rough than I thought it would, so I caught the tree a little bit, but um, I have 158 and I'm gonna play six iron. I started at the pin, but fading a tiny bit. All right guys, check out Mike's shot in there. He hit the green and he's got about 15, 20 feet here. Awesome shot up the hill too. All right, Paris missed hers to the right, so she's got a pretty easy chip. She just needs to land it on the green and let it run out a little. Hmm. She's got about 10 feet. Marco's got like a 30 yard over the bunker with a little bit of green to work with kind of shot. And uh, he's gonna have to land this uh, pretty soft and pick it up pretty high. Pretty good. He's got about 10 feet also. Oh, All right, good birdie, and I might get some, some dots there. You got a birdie, gorilla, two dots? Uh, birdie, gorilla, sticky, three dots. Three daughter, three wow. Dots. And coach pulls ahead. <laughs> All right, finally. All right, so we're on hole number four, par three, uh, 202 yards, a little bit downhill. Got to carry the water, and that bunker on the right is the bunker of death, so you definitely don't want to be in that. And then it's a two-tier green, so you have to be careful on not to go long on this also. Started up the right with a big swoop. It's gonna, looks like it's gonna miss left again. Okay, it's right at it. Looks like uh, I just landed right in front of the green. Start up the right side with a little bit of draw. Looks like it's just on the fringe right side next to the bunker. All right, so this is where Paris ended up. She's over here just kind of pin high and uh, that's plenty of green to work with so she should be able to get that up and down. And then I was over here just a little bit short, but again, pretty straightforward shot. Uh, going straight up the hill, so I should be able to get that down hopefully. And Mike was over there, just kind of missed his forearm a tiny bit, but he's got a good angle. Oh, very nice shot. He's got about five feet left. Oh, very nice, Paris. Yeah. Left himself about a four and a half, five footer below the hole. All right, good three. Ooh, nice putt, coach. Good all read. Right. Good hole, guys. Yeah. yeah, we all missed the green, but made some pars. All right, this hole is a par four, 381 yards, playing a little bit uphill, as you can kind of tell. And you just want to favor the left center of this fairway, because once you get up there, it's the hole goes a little bit back to the right. It's actually, uh, the green's probably in alignment with that right side bunker. So you just want to avoid those bunkers. Uh, with a good drive, we probably will carry them. But yeah, left center of the fairway, it's uh, pretty straight ahead from there. Also, if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, hit a like button, leave a comment down below, let us know what, uh, what else we can be doing to improve these videos. We're making these for you guys and we love hearing the feedback. And also, if you're not following us on Twitter or on Instagram, make sure you do that because we love to put out polls and just ask you guys questions about merchandise that we're gonna bring to the shop or courses we're gonna play or different challenges we're gonna do. And um, yeah, we'd love to just uh, chat with you guys and see what you think. Beauty. Got 164 yards. I hit a really bad drive there. My legs are just not firing today, but um, gotta keep this under the trees. I got a fire iron in my hands. I'm gonna just try to knock it down and just get it rolling up there. Somewhere around the green would be, I'd be super happy with. Yeah, so I went back to the bag. I was gonna try to keep something low, but I'm gonna hit an eight iron. I'm gonna try to keep it under this tree. And it's a pretty thin tree, so even if I do hit it up a little bit higher, I might get through. But I'm gonna try to go under it and then over the next set. And it's a risky shot either way, so. Oh, he did. He got up and over. Should be probably 
right in front, left side of the green. Should be pretty good, good shot. All right, so I have a 166 here. I'm not gonna get too crazy. I'm just gonna play at 166 and I have a, a six iron. Started it up towards the right side of the green and it's just kind of staying there. Yep, just gonna miss to the right. All right, Mike's driver is clearly working, guys. This is a good sign, he's got it back. <laughs> but my long iron play is not working, so I'm gonna have to do a little a little finagling with that. But uh, I've got 119 yards, a little bit into the wind, pins all the way back, you can't miss long, and there's a huge ridge that you don't wanna be uh, uh, on, the, on the bottom half of. So um, distance control is super important on this one. Started it right at it, and it's, it's staying there. This looks really good. He said he caught it a little bit heavy, but uh, yeah, still a good shot, middle of the green. So this is where I ended up, just kind of short of the green here, a little bit on the left side, but uh, overall, pretty good spot. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that from where I was. And you guys can see where the pin is cut. It's on that back tier that Mike was talking about, and uh, he got about halfway up it. Um, caught his just a tiny bit heavy, but he's gonna have a run at it. Looks fairly flat. Oh, just checked up on him a little. Yeah, he's got about 20 feet left. He needed to carry it just a little bit more and that would have been pretty good. Oh, and she landed it and almost dunked it. <laughs> Great shot, P. So we're on hole six, it's a par four, 385 yards. You don't really need a driver here, but we're gonna pull one out anyways. There's a bunch of bunkers right along the left-hand side. And then there's an overhanging tree that, I don't know if you guys can see, but right at the end of the fairway that you definitely wanna get past in order to, to have an, a, you know, a good wedge at the green. So gotta hit one down the middle on this one. Started up the right side with a little bit of a cut. Started down the middle with a pretty hard draw. Started up the left and it's uh, kind of staying there but it's gonna be left center of the fairway it looks like. So yeah, I pulled my drive, hit the tree. It probably should have gone out of bounds but I got a good lucky break on that. I got 175 yards, pins up front. So I'm just gonna miss a little bit to the left and uh, play it safe and hopefully uh, I can get up and down. Started in middle of the green and it's drawn back. And it looks like it's gonna be Left side of the green. Good shot from there. All right, so I keep missing fairways, but uh, I'm getting away with it here. So I got 96 yards left. I'm gonna just go with the sand wedge and uh, see if I can make a birdie here. So he's gonna go through that gap right up in there. I made it through everything without a noise. Oh, and it looks like he's like six feet. Great shot, dude. Nice. Started just Right of the pin with the draw, and he came up just a tiny bit short. Finally, I come through, guys, and I hit a decent golf shot there. I've got about three feet left. Hopefully, I can make that putt. <laughs> so Mike and Paris were both uh, a tiny bit short down here, and uh, they're right next to each other. So this looks like a ideal uh, closest to opportunity. She might want to get her five bucks back from the last. <laughs> we'll see. Why not? Let's do it. All right, closest <laughs> two for five. Ooh, that is a uh, door wide open right there. Mm. Wow, really good. Got our five bucks right on back and uh, should be an easy par. Yeah, short game is on point today. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to part one of the video. Uh, make sure you are subscribed and you hit that little bell. Um, that'll let you know when we upload and post and all that. And be sure to check us out on, on Instagram and me on Instagram. The link will be in the description for both of those as well. And uh, be sure to check out our giveaway for some uh, Callaway golf balls uh, this video. So stay tuned for video two coming at you. <laughs>